Light travels from the sun to the earth through space, yes? How can something light travel through nothing, space? Let us isolate a light beam. In the deepest reaches of space, where the stars beckon with their distant glows, a tantalizing question lingers in the minds of dreamers and scientists alike. Can we traverse the cosmic abyss and venture among the stars themselves? Interstellar travel, that age-old enigma that has captured human imagination, stands as both a daring dream and an audacious challenge. As our technological prowess dances ever forward, a single burning query emerges from the void. Could humanity defy the boundaries of the known and embark on a journey to establish colonies among the celestial tapestry? But even if this grand vision seems beyond reach, could we, in the very least, dispatch intrepid probes to glean wisdom from the enigmatic planets that inhabit the far reaches of space? Within the labyrinth of physics, the truth emerges as a cryptic whisper, neither a resolute affirmation nor a categorical denial. The rules of reality themselves do not prohibit the grandeur of interstellar travel and exploration. The universe, it seems, has not barred the door to our ambitions, yet the path to the cosmos is fraught with thorns and perils. The challenges, formidable and steadfast, remain unyielding in their mystery. And yet, amidst this uncertainty, glimmers of hope and progress emerge, kindled by the vigilant eyes of NASA's watchful instruments. Could it be that the realm of the stars is inching closer to our grasp? Has the impossible become possible? Could NASA truly hold in its grasp the key to the speed of light, the ultimate frontier? The beacon of this quest lies in Einstein's ethereal realm of relativity, a realm that whispers secrets of time's dance and the cosmic speed limit. The speed of light, that celestial sprinter, reigns sovereign, a barrier no particle, no craft can surpass. From Earth to the Moon, light traverses the span in but a fleeting heartbeat. A journey from Los Angeles to New York is less than a blink of an eye in the face of light's celestial marathon. Yet, the story takes a hairpin turn when we venture to Proxima Centauri, a star that stands distant and unfathomable, 4.25 light-years distant to be exact. Consider, if you will, the swiftest creation of human hands, the Parker Solar Probe, a marvel among machines. It soars with a velocity that eclipses jets and rockets, kissing the clouds at 700,000 kilometers per hour. To dash from Los Angeles to New York, a mere 20 seconds suffices for this mechanical marvel. Yet, when faced with the cosmic expanse, Proxima Centauri beckons from the shadows, its light extinguished ages before. A journey to its embrace aboard the Parker Solar Probe would stretch to a daunting 6,633 years. Among the vast sea of the cosmos, five emissaries from Earth sail forth, reaching into interstellar oblivion. The New Horizons spacecraft, the pioneers, the voyagers, they hurtle with prowess, puncturing the void at tens of thousands of miles per hour. But let it be known, these cosmic envoys are but messengers to our neighboring orbs, ambassadors of the solar system. Proxima Centauri remains an untouched dream, an unreachable mirage, its light forever out of reach. Even with their mighty engines, these emissaries would wander for 80,000 years before they'd graze the star's radiant corona. Rockets, those fiery chariots of our ascent, crumble like paper before the challenge of the stars. They possess no vigor, no vigor, to span the cosmic gaps that divide our celestial companions. A leap to the stars demands velocity beyond our wildest dreams, velocity faster than the very light that guides us. Today, such propulsion is but a whisper in the winds of science fiction. Warp speed, wormholes, words plucked from tales of imagination, or could they echo reality's melody? It is a riddle concealed in the folds of space-time, a challenge that beckons us to uncover truth's enigmatic core. Long ago, in the halls of the imagination, a saga unfurled. Star Trek, 
a tapestry of galaxies woven from dreams and physics. Its creators faced the cosmos with grand ambitions, to roam vast gulfs of interstellar space, to breach the very edges of the Milky Way. Yet a hurdle, monumental and chilling, arose. Time itself, a cosmic sentinel guarding the heavens. For even at light speed, a journey from Earth's embrace to the galaxy's heart spans a yawning 25,000 years. So it was that the warp drive bloomed, an artful illusion woven from the threads of physics and fiction. Starships surged past light's limitations, traversing galaxies in a blink. A fusion of matter and antimatter conjured raw power to warp space-time, defying relativity's grip. At warp factor 8, 512 times the speed of light, the Enterprise roared like a comet through the heavens. But let reality be known. A starship's journey would never mirror the ease of television's embrace. The warp drive bowed to the demands of storytelling, bridging the gaps between stars in mere moments. Yet, within the recesses of human genius, a whisper arose. A whisper from the lips of physicist Miguel Alcubier. An idea sprang forth, wild and daring. A journey not through space, but through space itself. The fabric of reality would twist and churn, crafting a bubble in which the ship would ride. Energy, great and vast, would birth the bubble, and within it, the ship would ride the very curvature of space-time, surpassing light's limits. An audacious theory, bold, brazen, and yet constrained by its demands for negative energy or negative mass. A price too steep, a conundrum too deep. The universe shied away from such gifts, and so the warp drive remained trapped in theory's delicate web. Time pushed on, and still the dream of the stars beckoned. Dr. David Burns, a mind attuned to the cosmos, sought another path, a helical path, a path through the atoms themselves. Imagine a box, a weight dancing on a thread, vibrating in the depths of space. Within its tremors, a secret lay, a secret of momentum, of weight imbalances, and thrust unshackled. A crack in relativity, a quiver of hope, ions, they say, ions within a loop, spiraling faster and faster, nearing light's embrace. And in this dance, a flicker of acceleration, a shift in mass, a semblance of propulsion without propellant. The vision dances before our eyes, a chamber, a loop, ions twirling with in magnetic embrace. The helical engine, they call it, a dance of forces in the darkness of space. But challenges abound, lengths to traverse, power to harness, the tyranny of inefficiency. For each newton of thrust, a hunger for megawatts, a gulf too vast to bridge. Yet in the grand cosmos, where time stretches to infinity, where energy knows no bounds, this engine, this dream, could yet surge to light's limit. So here we stand, on the cusp of dreams and knowledge, on the precipice of discovery. The stars beckon, the universe whispers its secrets, and we, the explorers, the dreamers, the seekers, cast our eyes beyond the horizon. Will we breach the cosmic chasm? Will we journey among the stars? Or is this 